If you want to know how to make caramel like this, go ahead and hit that like button and let's get started. Today, we are doing a one ingredient caramel or caramel, however you say it. Anyway, the one ingredient that we will be using is sweet and condensed milk. Now, I have two different brands, but they're both sweet and condensed milk. One is fat free, which that's the one I'm gonna do today. And then the other one is the Eco brand. I'm gonna do that also in a different recipe. So before I get started, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, share the video out. Um, again, welcome. So let's get started. On the stove, I have a pot of water and it is hot. And so what I'll be using is the sweetened condensed milk. I'm going to take the label off because you don't want to put that in the water like that. It would be very messy. And I got this recipe from Granny Karma Homestead. So shout out to you. And then I noticed a lot of other people were doing it too and they did it different ways. So I'm going to do it her way because she was the one that I saw do it originally and I want to try it. So we're going to turn this sweetened condensed milk into caramel. So let me show you. I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer to the stove so you can see what I'm doing. So y'all, my footage got deleted, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the can, place it in the pot, make sure it's covered fully, and make sure it's in there for three hours. So, timer just went off, and I'm gonna turn that off. And here's my can still in here. I'm going to take it off of this hot eye and put it on the other eye so it can cool off. And I'll take the can out once it cools off. I'm kind of rattled right now because I have this new iPhone and it said that it cannot crack. But yet mine just did. Anyway, that's off the subject, off the subject, off the subject. So I'll be right back when it cools off. Two hours later, it is 1.30 a.m. As you can see, it is done. I have my grease pan here. So I'm gonna make this as quick as I can. I hope that this worked. I have to use one hand. I see brown. This looks so good, y'all. We got to prop this phone up. So now I'm putting it into the pan because I'm gonna spread it out and I hope to make some little candies and wrap them. So as you can see, the caramel came out just fine from a can of sweet and condensed milk. So I'm going to place this into this pan and let it sit overnight and then I'll come back and see if I can chop it into candy pieces. If not, then I'll just put it in a jar and we'll have it over some ice cream another day. That looks so good. Oh my God. So again, if you've enjoyed this video, if you've learned anything from this video, even if you haven't, please let me smell it. Oh, it smells so good. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. Leave me a comment down below. Share the video. And I'll see y'all on the other side of tomorrow. So this is the outcome of the caramel. So 
so you can see in the light. Let me get in the light because I'm in the kitchen. I don't have my ring light on. But this is the caramel, caramel, however you want to say it. I have it setting in the refrigerator right now. If it sets enough where I can use my spatula to just go um, horizontal and take it out and make little candy pieces with, then I will. If not, then I'll just cut them into little squares. So y'all, please try this recipe and if you like it, go ahead and like this video. Peace, love, and light. Thank y'all so much for joining Tommy Bikes Homestead. And remember, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are that person, go out and spray God's love with distance. Peace, love, and light. Thank you for joining Tommy Bikes Homestead and Tommy Bikes TV. Out. Here's the results of the taco. Here's the results of the taco.